Hi, and congratulations on your purchase of a WineLogic storage system. I'm Diane, and I'm going to walk you through the simple installation. But before we begin, let's measure your cabinet to make sure the WineLogic storage system fits properly. The base cabinet needs to be at least 18 inches wide. This means the interior of the cabinet should measure at least 16 and a quarter inches across from inside wall to inside wall. The opening for the door should measure at least 15 inches across. If all the measurements look good, then let's go ahead and unpack the WineLogic wine rack. We've done most of the work of putting the WineLogic wine rack together, so it arrives largely pre-assembled. After you remove the WineLogic storage system from the package, you should have one frame, one bottom wine drawer, one middle wine drawer, one top wine drawer, a written instruction sheet, and four mounting screws. All you need to install it is a Phillips head screwdriver. The first thing you'll want to do after unpacking the unit is to remove the drawers from the wine logic storage system. To remove the top wine drawer, pull it forward as far as possible, then push the levers located on either side of the drawer. One lever will move up, the other lever will move down. Make sure you're pushing the levers at the same time and pull the wine drawer all the way out. To remove the middle wine drawer, just repeat the same steps you did for the top wine drawer. Now for the bottom wine drawer. Pull it out as far as possible and then push upward on the buttons on each side of the glide at the bottom side of the drawer. The buttons need to be pushed at the same time and the drawer will slide out easily. Once all of the drawers are out of the wine logic frame, collapse the frame and place it inside the cabinet. Make sure it's facing so the glides extend forward. After you've got the frame in the cabinet, expand it until the cross pieces at the front and back of the rack are laying flat on the cabinet bottom and the brackets at the front and the back are in their locked position. Now this is important. For everything to line up right, the bottom drawer has to be installed before putting in the screws. So let's go ahead and place the bottom drawer on the glides. The bottom drawer is the only wine drawer that has glides on the bottom. Now it helps if you pull the bottom glides out just a little to get the drawer started on the glides. Then you just push the bottom wine drawer all the way to the back to align the glides. If it's aligned right, the drawer will move back and forth smoothly. Once you have the bottom drawer in place, pull the frame forward as far as possible. It's best if you can get the front of the frame to sit right against the inside frame of the cabinet. If your cabinet is bigger than the standard 18-inch base cabinet, it's not a problem. Just position the wine rack so that it is against one side of the cabinet. Now you're ready to install the screws. Pull the bottom wine drawer forward about 3 inches, far enough forward so that you can see the pre-drilled holes on the top of the cross pieces. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to tighten the screws. Make sure you use all four screws and make sure each one is tightened down tight so the top of the screw is below the surface of the cross piece. Once you've secured the frame by putting in the screws, you're ready to install the two upper drawers. These drawers are similar and will install the same way. The top wine drawer is the one that's branded with our WineLogic logo. Place the middle wine drawer on the glides, just like the bottom drawer, and push the drawer in all the way to get it aligned and when the glides are aligned properly, the drawer will move back and forth smoothly. Then just do the same with the top wine drawer. Once all three drawers are installed, you're ready to enjoy your WineLogic wine rack for years to come. It's that simple.